Hello and welcome. We're joining you from the World of Asphalt Trade Show in St. Louis, Missouri. I'm Kim Schott, Product Manager for Sales Training, and joining me is Eric Yeomans, Product Manager for Large Wheel Loaders. We thought this would be a great opportunity to show you a walk around on the new series Large Generation Wheel Loaders, and behind us is the L260. The new Gen Large includes the 150, 180, 220, and 260, so we're, we're going to cover all of the updates on all the machines, however we can't show all of them today, but we certainly can show you all the new updates on this exciting new 260 here. We focused on a lot of areas, we focus on improving or lowering TCO for customers, we improve safety on the machine, and, and we've also got some new uh, really exciting features when it comes to the drivetrain technology. So what have we done to improve total cost of ownership with this new series? Yeah, we have a new e exciting feature on, on the uh, L220 and L260. So standard on the front axle, we have uh, ATC, automatic traction control. So we basically have wet clutches inside the differential that are engaged by the computer. So automatic, you can select in the, in the integrated Volvo Copilot, you can select first gear, forward and reverse, first gear and second gear, uh, forward and reverse and up to seven mile an hour it will engage automatically and then you can press the button on the floor and you can engage it up to 15 mile an hour and that's going to help re reduce tire wear because you're not going to have the wheels spinning and then uh, also increase productivity and then we have the rear axle as optional so that's a big way of, of in, in reducing total cost of ownership. Yeah that sounds like a great improvement. And what about the new dump height we have now? Yeah, so we introduced this back in November last year. We increased the or lengthened the hydraulic lift cylinders and you get an extra 4.7 inches for the standard boom and 5.1 for the long boom. The hydraulic pump flow is now on the L150 and L180, so we're going from 48 to 67, and then we're going from 57 to 67 gallons per minute. And that increased hydraulic pump flow is going to reduce the cycle times and increase productivity. All right, Eric, you've mentioned that the cab has a lot of new updates. Let's talk about those. Yeah, better still, let's actually grow up and have a look at these new right. updates now. So well, welcome to the new cab. As you see here, it's a totally different look compared to our, our previous uh, series machines. We've, we've taken away several functions from the A-Post. They're now incorporated, integrated into the integrated uh, Volvo Copilot. You'll see we have a whole new HMI, a whole new display. This is the new dynamic instrument cluster. The keypad is now removed, so all the functions that were down here in the keypad is now incorporated into the integrated Volvo Copilot. So we're, we're going to come back later and, and do another video and go through that, all the screens, but I just love the new, it's just so intuitive, it's so modern, it's so much easier. There's a lot of new, really cool functions and features in the Copilot. As you know, we've had the orange handrails and steps for quite a long time now. So, you know, helping the operator to identify where they should be when they're entering and exiting the cab now. So these, these are the new handrails, they're bolt on. On the other side of the machine, we have an, a new entrance for the operator to climb up safely into the platform at the front of the cab. So that's part of improving our safety. An operator has to get out and clean the mirrors and clean the windshield. Technician has to replace the windshield wiper. So now it, the, the operator will climb up here, step across to there, Always, always maintaining three points of contact. He can he will clip his safety harness here on the safety hook there on the corner of the cab, mm -hmm. clean the windshield, do everything safely, then climb back down on the machine. I, I just like the whole new look of the cab. It's the, there's a lot more updates inside the cab, obviously, but the exterior looks really modern. It looks like a really fresh look. I'm really excited about it. We also have the 360 bird's eye view camera now available as an option. Again, improving uh, operator safety. Very good. Okay, Eric, this machine has a whole new look. Tell us about it. Yeah, I mean, you saw the cab and how, how good that looks. So we, we also improved the, the rear of the machine. We have the new grill. We have the new Volvo word mark here as well. Mm -hmm. What about this? Yeah, that, that's our radar sensor. So we, we use that to activate collision mitigation where we actively uh, activate the brakes when the machine gets in that red zone. But we now we've done also some improvements again as a commitment to safety. Mm -hmm. So we have this new inhibitor start. So if you reverse up to an object the, and the machine recognizes there, you park the machine, then you've got to go in reverse. The system memorizes that there's an object behind, so well, you're going to reverse. So that's a really improvement. But well, what I really like now is when you open it, check out the new service light. This is really good. It's going to make it easier for operators when they fill the machines, because most of these machines work a couple of shifts, so it's much easier for the operator to fill the machine. 
Yeah, that's a great service feature. So there's a lot of new operators in our industry too. Is there anything that we've done that'll assist them with maybe filling their buckets and being productive? We have auto bucket fill now available as an option on the 150 to, to 260. So what, what that basically does is, as you're going into the pile, you lower the bucket to ground, you hold the kick down button on the hydraulic lift lever for more than two seconds, that activates the function. Then the machine takes over the throttle function, the lift and bucket operation. And it basically, it, it, you're, you're loading consistently. And then because we're controlling the engine RPM, we're maximizing the fuel efficiency in the machine as well. And one thing I like, was it's very, very consistent, very easy to use. You've mentioned something about this fuel priming pump. It used to be a manual process, but this does not look manual. No, this is now electric. So you basically press this, hold it down, so probably three to four minutes, open up the bleed, nipple up on top of the fuel filter, and it bleeds the fuel, the fuel system automatically. Much, much quicker than priming or using the old manual hand pump. Absolutely. And you'll also see now we have the new captive fuel filters and engine oil filters and that's going to be good for the environment. It's much easier to dispose of those filters instead of the spin-on type filter. Sure. Okay, so the lockout tag out is no longer in this location. Can you tell us about that and why? Yeah, yeah correct. I mean, we, we used to always have the lockout tag out in here, but now we, we basically have the battery disconnect incorporated in the ignition key. We've had that on the 350, the smaller machines have it, the articulated haulers have had, had it for years. So we've gone to that new technology and because of that, we've gone to a new service uh, pack, our new service lockout tag out on this side. So let's go around and have a look at it on the other side. Okay, let's take a look. Here we go, Kimberly. Here's the new service box. There's your new lockout tag out here. You have your jump start poles. You have your ISO jump start, the optional one here. And then inside here, we have your main fuses. So everything is in one box in the same area. Going to make it easier for technicians that are working on the machine. And then, especially for the lockout tag out, it's much easier. Very good. And important to note that the new location is here, not on the other side where it had been. Correct. All right, Eric. So we've talked about TCO productivity, but has there been anything new that will really lower fuel consumption? A oh, great question. Yeah, we actually have a new feature called Smart Control. So what, what we're actually doing is we're taking over the throttle function, and we're also taking over the rim pull function mm -hmm. in second gear and upwards. And the tests we have done that we've seen savings of up to 4% in just pure fuel consumption. So that's quite exciting. And then on the 150 and 180, we actually have a new direct lockup from third gear to fourth gear, direct lockup to lockup. So the sooner you can activate that, the, the less fuel you're going to burn. If, if you run in normal converter mode, you're probably going to burn 15% more fuel. So we're engaging that lockup. We're jumping straight from third gear lockup to fourth gear lockup. And that's also going to reduce your, or lower your fuel consumption. So we hope you enjoyed that walk around on the new Gen Large wheel loaders. And stay tuned for more. Thank you very much.